You think you got higher within the bunch, but you're actually getting fire among the bunches. Welcome back to my show, guys. This is Higher Bunch of Fire Bunch, and my name is Ra. I'm going to back to get you guys more help and clues for a job interview, job application, and what? Job offer questions. Wow, it's been a, it's been a while since our last um, long video, which I didn't recall what it was. <laughs> But we did a live stream in regards of some of my live recorded, you know, live interview with um, employer that I have been dealing with. And I think that was a great success. And also, uh, I know the legends will keep going. <laughs> so I will be looking forward to other opportunity to get you guys more. Some of those episodes, my live recorded interview. Okay today will be something special you know during the days i'm recording this uh episode we're getting close by the united states of america president election day which will be uh november 8th i believe or 4th november 8th so i am going to do a few other episodes in regards of uh, you know the similar topics but actually actually if you go back to my channel, um, I have some other topics in regards of the, you know, either Donald Trump's, Kamala Harris, and also some of the people who's got involved um, in related with those um, elections, campaigns, rallies, something like that. So if you're looking forward to something like that, uh, I would recommend you to go to my playlist as shorts. Um, this is crawl chromatologic. You may, you know, you can sort it newest to oldest. Wait, where is that? Okay, I don't think that works. Oldest? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I would do this. Just shorts. Okay, here you go. You got Elon. And I think... Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Okay, so all right, so long for short. Well, that's uh, that's what what you guys. I'm actually gonna recommend. So for today's topics, uh, we're going back to one of the candidates. Name's Donald Trump. You can tell, and he's recently he was recently had a very long in interview with uh, the famous uh, podcaster Joe Rogan for like three hours. Man. I mean, for myself, I couldn't do it, you know, for an interview for long, as long as three hours, man, that was a lot of charisma and of course, a lot of stamina, right? So, um, that's something I want to check you guys and I'm going to pick up three questions. Eh, it's, it's not only question to Donald, right? It's, it's also question to the other people. So I'm going to pick up and do some analysis reactions, of course, and see how the will help us. For our job interview all right so let's go to joe here we go joe Rogan experience fair use fair use let's go joe rogan podcast check it out the joe, joe rogan, rogan podcast. experience showing my day joe rogan podcast by night all joe day rogan, all day all day all right <laughs> all right we're rolling all right we're rolling. here we go <laughs> um one of the things i wanted to talk to you about I wanted to play this, but we decided we shouldn't play it because uh, it could okay. get copyright strike and we don't want to get the episode. Here's a video he want to play, but he can't want to get copyright. I mean, he doesn't know what's a... Of course he knows. <laughs> Fair play. We don't want anybody to have any sort of way to get it down. Sure. But it was the episode of you when you're on The View. And I think it was 2015 or 2006, like when you were running for president. Right. And... You sat, you got introduced as our friend Donald Trump. That's right. Whoopi Goldberg gives you a big hug and a kiss. Joy Behar gives you a big hug. Barbara Walters gives you a big hug. They all loved you. They were all talking about how you're, uh, you, you might be, you might be conservative in your financial positions, but you're very liberal socially. They were, they were talking about you in such a favorable yeah. light. The audience was cheering. And then. All right, let's, let's get back. Um. I think I can't play the video. I don't care. I mean, fair use copyrights, but here's the video he was talking about. And actually, uh, we'll be actually uh, commented that video uh, a few days ago. Let's see which one. Is you know 
this is the view. Made a campaign stop on the Joe Rogan podcast Friday night, go. and with all the issues all right. before he announced. All right, so this is the video he uh, Joe was talking about, and Wubi is commenting about. It was actually in 2011, and it was way before Donald Trump's campaign, right? He was running. Okay. As big as a billionaire, a real estate go. go-go, and a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please You're let's find out and please welcome this, my man. friend, Donald Trump. They're sitting together. Big hug, kisses. Let's see. Big hug, kiss. Hug. Vow. Hug again. Handshakes. Here we go. Kiss. Kiss. Yeah, so, alright, so, uh, this is Joe was talking about, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna put the link below, you guys can see it, but, okay, here we go back, uh, we're back again, so, the first question I'm gonna talk about is actually this question. You actually started winning in the polls, and then the machine started working towards you. Yeah. But it's, there's probably no one in history that I've ever seen that's been attacked the way you've been attacked and the way okay. they've done it so Criticism. coordinated and systematically when you see those same people in the past very favorable to you like Oprah when you were on Oprah right, show very. she was encouraging you to last be week I did one of her last shows I think maybe Thursday or Friday that was a big deal being on Oprah's show the last one and mm -hmm. I was like one of the last shows in that last that final week and I said boy we've come a long way since <laughs> since that what was and, it like right uh, well yeah, the concept it was really like two different lives you know I had a a very wonderful life but I, I wanted to do this the apprentice was still going very strong we had 12 seasons and uh, we had actually uh, 14 seasons 12 years over we had a couple well of they them. canceled the apprentice when you were running for president correct no they had Arnold Schwarzenegger do it I was involved in that and I want I, I had enough of it and we did great it was doing great but they wanted me to stay they all came to see me they said we're going to give you a contract. They wanted to extend my contract. Mark mm -hmm. Burnett is a great guy. Mm -hmm. Then they wanted to extend the contract. Mark said, you're crazy. Don't run. Don't run. No. Nobody gives up prime time, they said. You know, it's one of those little things, which is probably true. Nobody gives up prime time, though, for being president? For for running, well, for running against 20-some-odd people, you know, it turned out yeah. to be 18. 18 professional people, you know, mostly politicians. They said, who would do this? I mean, it's a long shot. Actually, the heads of NBC came over, the uh, Paul Telegny, all the mm -hmm. all the top people came over to see me, try and talk me out of it, because they wanted to have me extend. The Apprentice was doing well. I, so it was 14 seasons. It was 12 years. We had one, two seasons where we had a double, which rarely happens. It was just a hot show. And uh, I said, you know, I want to do this. What happened is uh, previously, like three years, four years before that, they did a poll. They had Mitt Romney. And somehow they put me in a poll and I blew everybody away. I blew him away, which isn't that hard, frankly. But I blew everybody away. And I said, that's interesting because I never really gave it that much real thought. I thought about it, but never real thought. But I saw these polls were very good. And so I was thinking about doing it then, but I had a contract with The Apprentice. Plus, I was building two big buildings at the time, and I wanted to make sure they got finished up properly. And it was one of those things. The kids were just sort of getting involved. They're very capable kids, but they were getting involved early on. So I did that. I got them done. I had some very good successes. And I came on, and uh, then I thought about it for the next one after the Romney disaster. And I ran <laughs> and I won against Hillary. And it was quite an experience. But it was a different life because you're right, The View. I was on The View many, many times. And uh, they loved me. Just Everyone? the way people would talk. I mean, even if people had criticisms about you, people that didn't like you, there was always feuds and stuff like that. But the reality was the thing turned on you when they found out that you were going to be president. It was very coordinated. And some people are catching on to that now. There's a lot of people that were longtime Democrats like Elon and Bill Ackman and all, yeah. all these different very intelligent people. And they support me now. Bill Ackman they support supports you now. me. He's yes. been very supportive too. What, this is what I wanted to ask you. What was it like when you actually got in? Because nobody really can prepare you for that. When you're running for president, you don't really know what it's going to be like when you actually get into office. Okay, so the first question he was asking is, um, how does how did Trump facing criticize crit critics? Right? Um, he made an example about the view when those people actually loved him, but when he was trying to run the president why those people um you know started criticizing him and how did he face that trump was really interesting he basically stated what happened later on and what he thought keep going on for the presidency until he reached the end or the goal right so for us my friends um i have this a uh, very interesting episode that um i was talking about how do you do to persuade other people whoever some someone else who doesn't agree with you this episode will tell you the 
question structure why why employer asks you this question and how do you actually answer it okay so this quite this interview question and answer challenge make sure you guys check that so back to the video i have a second question um i think he was asking trump in about somewhere like 12 minutes by the way this is a really really long interview three hours Woo. i can't do that i had never run for office and i did well i mean i i went into debates we had 18 people including me and then slowly but surely they started to disappear we had debates good debates Everyone's aware of all this stuff. But what I want to get to is like, what was the experience once you got inside? It like, was just what did you think it was going to be like in terms of like your ability to govern? Yeah. Like this is your first experience governing anything. You've never been a yeah. governor. You've never been a mayor. Private. Yeah, right. private, private. Okay. So what, what was your experience at your first governing um, job or position? It, it feels like a, a alternative question is why the career change? How does it feel? And how do you conquer or how do you, uh, you know, make sure you fit? the new role that you that you applying or interviewing with where you actually got okay that business yeah but now all of a sudden well, you're inside the white house the biggest thing was just that first moment of being in this hallowed it was really a hallowed place right. to me the first it moment was surreal. it was beyond to me surreal. It, was, it was the experience it was a surreal experience and then with time that wears off with time it becomes you know your place Wear where off. you stay and right. okay uh, so you I was experience doing a lot of practice. i was i had two things that I really focused on governing the country and uh, survival. Survival. Because from the moment I won, before I got to office, all of a sudden, it, I mean, they came down. I mean, nobody has ever been treated that way. And and you see that. I mean, you see we're in the Washington Post very early on. They said, well, now the impeachment right. stuff starts. And it did. I mean, it literally started from the beginning. <laughs> so I had survival and run the nation. I had a, a combination. Most people don't have the survival. They get in. Uh, what, what did you expect, though, in terms of, like, once you got inside, you had a point? Okay, so here we go. Um, he's he's. Um, I mean, his his strategy is survival, and also patient, right? So, basically, uh, another previous episode of mine or our oh, ours is um, the similar question. Hey, um, about a career change. So about this one, what would you do when you had a career change, and what would you apply when you had this new job? in a different field of specialties or or in a different track of career of yours right so make sure you guys check this episode for the similar question as donald trump was asked now the third question but not the, the last one but not the least um i had a 146 mark somewhere here okay so this one he was asked nah not him you know, you're on Joe Rogan take People are telling me, like, I said, I say, how the hell do you know that? But it's it's sort of, what you've done here is amazing. Where would you be if you didn't do the UFC stuff? Would you have this show, do you think? Yeah, I would still be doing it. All right, so where would you be if you didn't do what you were doing? So the alternative question is, what would you do differently? What would you do differently if time can be reset? All right. For sure, yeah. Would, I mean, it, be at the same, would it be at the same level? Would it be the know. same? But you would have it's, to it's hard to know. I think, you know, one of the things that works for this show, I guess, is that I, I'm involved in so many different things. You know, stand-up comedy, UFC, and all the interests that I have that lead to the podcast. Will you always want to do you? First of all, you love UFC. I love it, yeah. You love the fights. I mean, I watch oh, yeah. you. You are loving it. They could pay you nothing. It'd be very... They didn't pay me anything for the first, like, 13 shows. I did it for free because they were hemorrhaging money. And I became friends with Dana. And my my position was, you're going to give me the best seat in the house. I get to sit cage side for the fights. I'm like, I'll do it. And I wanted to help. I was like, I think these are the guys that we had always hoped for. Well, in the early days of the guy. sport, I started working for the, the company in 1997. I was the, before the UFC was purchased by Zufa, which Dana oh, worked wow, for. Wow. So I, I was a part of the previous owners. And I only did it for a couple of years. It was just too much and I was losing money. And it was banned from cable because of uh, Budweiser and John McCain. And you could only get it on right. direct TV. And, and so and then, then I came along and I gave him the sights. And he loves and you he for never that. forgot it. He, he loves you for that. He talks you know, about and, it all and the time. Just to interrupt you for one second. So he, they couldn't get a site because it was too dangerous. <laughs> right. and everybody was against it and they couldn't get license. And Come I gave on, them man. the first two or three sites, yep. and they were great. And by the way, I went to the first fight, right? It was so good that I gave it to me again. Get, you probably never had it, but you like, time at the what else gave where you get me this fantastic guy. Well, this was always the thing that I would hope that it would be. I always knew that it was unbelievably entertaining, but I just didn't know if maybe I was crazy. Maybe I loved it because I've had this long history of being involved in martial arts, and maybe like other people just think it's too violent. But Can boxing make it? Yeah. Boxing's still a great sport. I love boxing. But it seems to be... 
so unimportant now by comparison to UFC, don't you think? I think, well, you know, Dana is working with uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They're, they're going to start promoting fights, boxing yeah. now. And with Dana at the helm of it, I think boxing could return because the thing is, they want to make fights that other people maybe... All right, I think they're off the track, but basically, Droll, actually, he was asked by, by Trump about the question, what would you do differently if you have a different career path or whatever? And he would say, uh, yeah, he will keep doing what he was doing and make it better. Something like that, right? So that's all for these gentlemen. Did you guys get it? I hopefully you, I hope you guys did, right? Hopefully you guys did. And uh, I'll put the link below for this full interview three hours, man. <laughs> I think Trump is really good at long interview, right? Wow. I, I, I know I can't do it. I have to take a break, but... But um, you know what's going on. So, you guys, make sure to check the full long video down below in my uh, description session with the link. And also, uh, make sure to check the, uh, this episode of mine where I was talking about the similar question Joe was asked by Trump. What would you do differently if you such and such? Okay. Make sure you guys check that. And... Um, and uh, make sure you guys comment below if you have other questions. I'll pick up two to three of them. Make a free videos as a free giveaway for you guys. And also make sure you hit the like button, share, and comment. Okay? If nothing else, I'll see you guys when I see you for the next episode. Peace out.